Hey guys, Jeff here, Air Maddox. What a beautiful day today here up in Canada. We had a really bad cold spell last week and uh, maybe the week before that where it was like some days were like negative 26 Celsius here and we just got dumped on with all this snow. And then I worked a bunch of overtime last week and then I have to work the weekend. And then today, the final day, it just so happens that the cold spell breaks. I have the day off and it's just sunny and plus 10. So what a great day uh, to come outside and do a pipe review. And what a fitting review to do is, the stuff I'm smoking today is Planta's California Dreams. California Dreams. It almost feels like I'm in California. Not quite, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's just nice and sunny out. A little bit breezy, but great. So I'm outside on my Monday decompressing and... Uh, did a, doing a couple tobacco reviews and maybe I'll smoke a cigar later too. do a review on that. Uh, I'm going to do a review of some uh, McClellan's Dark Star in a little bit. Actually, I already did a, a quick review, but it didn't turn out, so I'm going to re-review it. So yeah, let me light up this pipe here and I'll give you a little bit of uh, what, I'm, what I'm smoking. A little bit of a uh, taste. Housekeeping, smoking my Stacy Benson custom cob, which I like. <laughs> and so yeah, this tobacco, it looks to me, I didn't look it up, but it looks to me like, uh, I'll show you a picture of it here, uh, a really odd kind of a confetti type cut of bright leaves and some, which I think is Virginia. And then the other leaf looks like a black Cavendish. And this was, as of the taping of this video, the Planta bulk tobaccos are on sale at Spoken and Pipes. And this one's cheap to begin with. And I was in the... Uh, uh, so when I first picked it up, it was, uh, I was in the mood for a different kind of aromatic. And this one is supposed to taste like oranges. Hence, California Dreams. And in the pouch note, you do get a sweet, um, sort of an orangey type citrusy smell. And on the light-up, first thing you get is kind of just a naturally sweet, almost a tangerine and orange. And maybe even a strawberry, a little bit of a strawberry kind of sweetness, flavor, essence as well. The, one of the first things you might notice when you light it up is it has this acidicness to it. Which I've noticed that some people in the reviews, have, it's a turn off to them. But to me, it's actually kind of refreshing in the way that some aromatics I find too smooth. And I like to know that I'm smoking a tobacco. And this gives you a little bit of that, that, that harshness that reminds you that you're smoking a good, a good tobacco as well as something with some aromatic flavoring on it. Now it's not to be confused with tongue bite. I don't get any tongue bite from it, but I do get like a, a strong uh, tangy, cit citrusy, acidic mouthfeel, and, and you can feel it if you retrohale as well. But yeah, just a nice sweet, sometimes you can taste a little bit of that grassy Virginia. A little bit of the brown sugar from the Cavendish. Yep, not too bad, not too bad. I was going to say something else about this. What was I going to say? I don't know, but I know uh, I don't know much about Planta, but I do know one of their blends that they, they make is also Presbyterian, which is a, an excellent uh, light English if you're ever interested in that. But anyway, I'm going to continue uh, on with this beautiful day and just give, give you that little short review. Uh, if you're looking for some kind of an orange type of tobacco. I wouldn't say it's as good as Rattray's Exotic Orange, which I got from Mo Piping. Thank you very much. Um, but uh, still a very good tobacco and worth checking out. So I'll see you on my next video. Take it easy. Aromatics, signing out.